All right, good evening, guys. Kenneth Tortoise Capital, nightly strategy podcast for February 1st, 2023. Uh, for subscribers and anybody within the sound of my voice, uh, over at patreon.com backslash Ken Long, our uh, homepage there, uh, you'll see a link to allow you to sign up for the Creativity 101 course. Uh, it's free. This is the course that I teach uh, a thousand army officers a year at the Command and General Staff College. Uh, you can get that at no cost to you. Lifetime access to the materials. Just by way of saying thanks for support and the, looking forward to a great year ahead. You can sign up for it directly at that link. You, the link is clickable on Patreon or you can just type that in. Um, I want to talk for a moment about the Creativity 202 course, which is getting ready to start. So Creativity 101, we proved in the uh, research project we just completed for the Army that's going to get written up in Harvard Business Review, that that course has a statistically significant effect on creativity. That's Creativity 101. Same project. Uh, we also tested that against Creativity 202, and that was much better. This is the one that uses the Fletcher treatment. Uh, treatment. So I think of uh, Creativity 101 as kindergarten and foundational. It won't do you any harm. But Creativity 202 is the real secret sauce, and that's what Fortune 50 companies are lining up to get. Um, pretty good stuff. The New York Times is going to come and uh, interview me and some of the other researchers on that one, so that should be kind of fun. I just got to get that cleared through the Public Affairs Office. Um, but that looks like it's going to happen. Uh, when we talk about the Creativity 202 course, um, this is the list of lessons that are inside that course. And I should point out that um, it's a 30-week it's a course with live coaching by me and there will be some assistant instructors from the last uh, two cohorts that went through it they liked it so much they agreed to stay on and to uh, to assist so this is what's in the course in the introduction you get a lot of background stuff like um, uh, the plan for the course uh, a comparison to critical thinking to understand why they're different but important together uh, so a mission, definition, some introduction, and a summary. Uh, there was one really good session that we did. We talked about the essential idea that is so good that may be worth the price of the course. Uh, some thought experiments about when is good enough good enough. Uh, we created a 70-point professional skills self-assessment tool for traders as part of this course. And so what was really neat was that the, I was taking the course while also facilitating the course, and we generated a ton of uh, great new artifacts and insights. Uh, here's a sample coaching session and an introduction to hybrid trading that emerged from the course. Along the way, we updated our glossary, version 4.0, and then a connection to a very good book by George Leonard called Mastery. Three of the students have already completed, now we just finished on Sunday, but three of the students have uh, completed their works in progress, the f their final project, which was a summary of their 30-week experience. And those are really master classes in adult learning in public with skin in the game for accountability. Kyun, Tom Hardison, and Chun Long just did masterful jobs. And... Uh, even if you don't take the course, you should listen to the to the audio uh, for inspiration. So then the book or then the course has uh, a number of sections. Section one is the introduction that talks about the idea that if you want more creativity, you can get it because it's connected to natural processes in our brain. Section two uh, starts teaching you how to start unlocking that creativity which we already have. Um, the best way to think of that is is that we're born creative and then we are educated out of it 
uh, because of social reasons. So that's what you get in section two, how to begin unlocking that creativity you already have. In section three, we're looking for techniques that allow us then to amplify that natural creativity. And in section four, those lessons are designed to how to adopt new personas that allow you to unleash creativity because you're adopting a new role or role playing. Uh, in advanced creativity section five, we're looking for more complex and collaborative uh, techniques for advanced creativity. Section six, we, we do a recap of 10 myths of creativity and why those can hold you back if you believe in them. But we look at the science behind debunking those myths. Uh, in the conclusions, we're basically looking at the, the, the final, the final wrap-up. Now, the other thing that's really powerful about this course is that the uh, participants in the U.S., we had two cohorts. We had the U.S. Uh, and Australia, and then we had a bunch of guys in the Eurozone, plus a few from Canada that preferred the Sunday morning meeting rather than the Monday evening meeting. And we did weekly check-ins. So this is a case where anywhere from five to 10 individuals who had taken that week's lesson, done the work, and brought with them the most powerful moment from that week's of reflection, then we shared those stories together on camera and did some group session coaching. Each one of these is anywhere from 90 minutes uh, to two and a half hours. And you can see that th there's a session for each one of those uh, 30 lessons. And I just realized we had like 64 recordings. So that's well over 100 hours of additional live collaborative meetings. And the, uh, the insights that we had were really kind of astonishing. In addition, along the way, uh, we were generating new artifacts and new insights and producing products. And this is just 32 uh, of the best things that we develop, including we actually created the sniper system during the course. And you can actually see the foundational ideas in the early design thinking that went into the creation of what is now our robust, uh, our robust uh, sniper course. So that's the one you see me briefing every night. Well, this is where it was born inside the creativity. Yeah, uh, Mike asked me, does each section contain reading assignments or is it all lecture? Each one of those 30 lessons consists of the following. You have a, uh, a less than one page short reading from uh, Angus Fletcher, who is the uh, head of Ohio State University's uh, uh, think tank on story science called Project Narrative. It's the leading creativity think tank in the world for for the use of stories and narrative. So he produces a one-page reading that is set in a historical context. And then he will have one or two uh, experiential learning exercises, what we call uh, practical exercises, or PEs. Uh, and that's where you, uh, you try something, you write about it, you explore it in your mind space. So that's a practical exercise. In addition, so that's the, that's the Fletcher portion. And then what I've done is I've designed a trader's exercise that builds on uh, the main idea from Fletcher's work. And so you get a trader's exercise and one or two practical uh, exercises. And then what we do is uh, all the people who are in your cohort, or who in this case were in those cohorts, uh, come together and they bring a uh, about a three to five minute summary of the biggest insight that they personally had that week as a result of doing those two exercises. And then we share that around in a discussion circle using true storytelling principles in which we are non-judgmental, uh, non-advisory. We're just engaged in deep listening to witness uh, the the true stories that people are telling and that builds a sense of trust and confidence and collaboration in that circle and then after we tell our stories then we kick it around and we uh, discuss some follow-ons and insights and from that uh, we pick a focus word 
that of all the things that uh, uh, we listen to, we pick a focus word that we carry forward into the next week, and then that becomes a a piece of focused meditative reflection. So each uh, each one of these lessons, then the thirty lessons, has the Fletcher material, it has my material, it has the uh, ninety minute to two and a half hour recorded uh, content of our uh, of our live coaching group coaching sessions. Um, and uh, and then it has all of these extra artifacts and additional materials that came out as a as a consequence of um, uh, the ideas that that were generated inside there. And you get lifetime access to this, uh, whether you take the home study course, uh, which is just you, you get to access the material, or if you take the live cohort, uh, which is where you're gonna you would be one of these. Uh, the next cohort that goes through and engages in live coaching with me. Um, so, uh, and then as future iterations of this roll out, it just, we keep adding, we will keep adding to the course. So it's only going to just keep getting better. So yeah, the short answer to your question is each section contains uh, a short reading, an experiential learning exercise, and what I would consider a semi-lecture or testimony in the form of um, uh, video recordings, plus a lot of downloadable uh, interviews. Um, so that's that's a, just a quick look at the um, uh, at the creativity course. Just as a you know, as a bonus, there's a um, this one interlude number twelve. I just include. I did a a two hour session with the super traders from the Tharp Institute, uh, where I went through. Uh, a number of their trading strategies in the form of live coaching, so I just included that in there anyway. Um, and then some testimony from like Joe Greco, who talks about the impact that the live coaching sessions have had on his life as he's completely revised his business and uh, and established himself um, in the business community in Florida and Georgia. So uh, some pretty transformational um uh, ideas. Uh, this one I really like. This is the an interlude with Joe and Tom and Ernie. So, so Joe and Tom had formed a two-man accountability group uh, and have been working for well over a year together on a weekly basis to integrate their lessons. And Ernie uh, had an assignment from the creativity course to interview those two guys and find out what it was like to have an accountability partner and to go through that. And the interview itself will just knock your socks off with the the power of the insights and what can happen when you operate on the basis of um, safety, trust, truth. It always leads to opportunity. And that's really why the Army has really embraced um, this uh, this course and this approach to creativity as well, because they realize the power of the um, uh, of unleashing people's creativity. In a world that is adaptive and dynamic and dangerous, your best resource for long-term success and survival is to unleash your creativity routinely, and that's what this course really does. So I wanted to just share that share that idea with you. Okay, so that's the link. Um, we have uh, a couple ways to take it. Uh, we can you can take it as an individual self-paced, just a home study course where you have access to all that material that I just showed you. Uh, I'm offering it to subscribers for a thousand bucks. It's it's worth ten times that much. That's that's the good version of it. Uh, the better version uh, is if you were to join uh, the next cohort and what you would have access to is not only the home study course and all those resources but the chance to engage in live collaboration with a new group of students my last cohort and then myself to do live coaching uh, and we're offering that for two thousand bucks to subscribers it's three thousand if you are uh, from the world but uh, subscribers get a get a boost uh, in the future I'll be doing the best one in which I will be doing individual coaching with um, uh, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching with um, uh, with members. Uh, that one is uh, uh, contact me for if you're interested in that. That that one comes at a premium because you get focused uh, personal attention. Uh, so the next cohort starts 
on uh, 12 February, and it's a 30-week course, and I'm not going to run multiples of those. Uh, so once I get started in a cohort, I'm staying with them for 30 weeks. And, uh, I mean, you can always take the the home study course, but to get on board with the cohort, uh, time is of the essence. Uh, all right, so that's that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get back to our regularly scheduled program. We're going to start with the... Um, uh, with the swing portfolio.